ba ang mga grounds ng pagpapaalis or ejectment? Okay. Policy mo isang tao, for example, na-expired na ang contract of lease. Kasi ang contract of lease, sabi ko nga, temporary in nature. Kasi temporary, walang forever sa lease. Walang forever pag umupa ka. Pag umupa ka, ibig sabihin, may term yan. For example, five-year term, three years term. Pag natapos yung kontrata na yan, yes, grounds yan na pwede ka nang paalisin. Ejectment, uh, expiration of the contract of lease. Second, hindi ka nagbabayad ng upa. Okay? Kung hindi ka nagbabayad ng upa, kasi sabi ko nga, obligasyon ni Lesi is magbayad ng upa. Kung hindi magbayad ng upa, yes, pwede ka din palayasin. And third, uh, violation of the terms and conditions of the contract of lease. Like yung for example, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito na yung, yung condominium, gamitin nyo lang po sa residential purposes. Pero may iba, residential purposes daw, but ginagamit pang negosyo so, or commercial ang ginagamit. So, that is in violation ng terms and conditions of the contract of lease, pwede ka rin palayasin. Like for example, bawal ang subleasing, pinasublease mo pa rin. So, violation of the terms and conditions of the contract of lease, pwede ka pa rin eject. So, yun ang mga common na ground for ejectment, expiration of the contract of lease, uh, number two, yung failure to pay the rental, and third, violations of the terms and conditions of the contract of lease. Okay,